let's get started. What day is it today? Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. If today is Wednesday, yesterday was t Tuesday. Yesterday was Tuesday. Today is Wednesday and tomorrow will be Thursday. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Let's do our pattern and it's almost finished. Umbrella, umbrella, rain, cloud. Umbrella, umbrella, rain, cloud. Umbrella, umbrella, rain, cloud. Umbrella. Okay, what month is it? April, stand up. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, then you turn around. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, then you turn around. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, then you back down. Grab my weather wheel. Yesterday was windy. Let's see what today is. What's the weather like today? Like today, like today. What's the weather like today on this Wednesday? So today is supposed to be sunny. Today is supposed to be sunny. Sunny, 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 it is sunny in the sky. S-U-N-N-Y, sunny, it is sunny in the sky. And I bet you can't guess what the weather is going to be like today. Hmm, what's that temperature going to feel like outside? Do you think it's going to be really, really hot? Or do you think it'll be really, really cold? It is going to stay warm. Awesome. Let's move our names. We'll do McKenna and Rhett and Adelaide. Hello, McKenna. Hello, Rhett. Hello, Adelaide. We're happy that you're safe. And Layla, Abigail, and Kena. Hello, Layla. Hello, Abigail. Hello, Kena. We're happy that you're safe. Next, we'll do Aurora, and River, and Benson. Hello, Aurora. Hello, River. Hello, Benson. We're happy that you're safe. Next, we'll do Avery and Kinley and Ada. Hello, Avery. Hello, Kinley. Hello, Ada. We're happy that you're safe. And last but not least, Zane. Hello, Zane. Hello, Zane. Hello, Zane. We're happy that you're safe. And Rowan, Everett, Zoe, Gabe, Jake, and Jocelyn. We wish you well. Today, we are going to read a story about feeling afraid. Now, 
sometimes you might feel afraid and that's okay. That's a feeling that's okay for you to feel. Sometimes you might feel afraid. Sometimes I might feel afraid or maybe your mom or dad, even grandmas and grandpas can feel afraid. That's a feeling that all people can have. So we're gonna read a story about what we can do when we feel afraid and who we can ask for help or where we can go, all right? When I feel afraid. Sometimes I think about things that could happen. I might imagine things that frighten me. That means really scared. Like something in the dark or in my dreams. Or I might see things that are pretend, like a spooky movie. Have you ever seen a spooky movie before? I have too. Sometimes scary things are real. There might be fighting somewhere or people who want to hurt other people. When I think about these things, I may feel sad or angry or afraid. I'm sorry that bad things happen. When I don't know what to do, I can talk to someone who cares about me. I might talk to my dad or mom or someone else in my family. I might also have a babysitter or a neighbor I can talk to. Does it look like they're afraid of here? Lightning and thunder. That sometimes can be really scary and that's okay. That's just something we just need to work through together and always ask for help. I know people that I can trust. They take time with me when I need help. They listen and answer my questions. They help me understand what is real and what is imaginary. Imaginary means pretend. They comfort me when I feel afraid. I feel warm and safe with them. I also know community helpers that I can trust. Nurses and doctors, counselors and religious leaders. So counselors, somebody that you talk to that can help you work through some of your feelings. And what they mean by a religious leader is the person that maybe leads your church services. Sales clerks and postal workers, people at the grocery store that are working or people that are delivering your mail. Police officers, firefighters and soldiers, bus drivers, librarians and teachers. They all have special jobs that help people. Those are people that you can trust. They're there to help. When I feel worried or afraid, it helps to talk, laugh, and play with friends too. I feel better when I am with them. There are some things I can't change. If there is nothing I can do about my worries, I can think of other things instead. So when it's thunderstorming outside, and you're really scared of that lightning and those big booms of the thunder, can you make it go away? Is there anything you can do about the weather? The weather just happens, but it's okay to be afraid of it. But she's saying, oh, I can make it better for myself by just thinking of other things instead. So instead of the thunderstorm that's happening that's making her afraid, what is she thinking about? Cooking with her grandma, because that makes her feel good. It makes her feel safe. I can read books or draw pictures. I can play outdoors or take a walk. Now, if it's thunderstorming, you can't do that. But remember when she said, sometimes I watch a scary movie, <gasps> but are scary movies real? Those are imaginary, but Sometimes you can still think about them and get really scared. So in that situation, to get your mind off of it, you can go in the backyard and swing. You could take a walk around your house. 
those are things that could help you. I can make things or play games or sing songs. All these things remind me of the good people and the good things in the world. I may also have a quiet place where I feel safe. We have one of those in our classroom. Hmm, what is it called again? A safe place. In my quiet place, I might tell myself something nice. I might take some deep breaths. I might say a prayer. I might think about the good things in my life. I want to be strong. I want to do things I think are right, even if they seem hard. What's happening in this picture that might be hard for her? It's like grandma might be a little bit sick, but she knows that she can be strong and something that she can do is bring her flowers because that's gonna make grandma feel good and that's gonna make her feel better. When I feel afraid, I know ways to help myself feel safe. So do you remember at the beginning when she was afraid of the dark? What did she do for herself to make her feel safe in this picture? She turned on a nightlight. That's perfectly okay to help you feel safe. If you're a little bit afraid of the dark, that's okay. But some way you can help yourself is by getting a little nightlight. And I know people I can trust to help me. What else is happening? Dad's reading her a bedtime story. Sometimes bedtime can be hard, but the people you love are there to make it easier for you. The end. Okay, friends. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.